All right, we're being asked to uh, use a linearization to estimate cosine of 62 degrees, which, by the way, is real, co real close to cosine of 60, which, by the way, is cosine of pi over 3 in radians. So we're going to go ahead and work off of the cosine function. And so that's the curve you see in red and um, pi over three is, is this tick mark here. So that's the point that we're focused on in a sense, uh, but we're utilizing that tangent line for which we're going to come up with a linear function that we're actually going to use to approximate uh, 62 degrees, which we're going to need to convert to radians. So we can do that now. 62 over 180 times pi is a formula for converting it to radians. And so we'll use we'll use that uh, at the point that we need to. And so we need to figure out what the slope of that black line is. Okay, so f prime of x is minus sine of x. Okay. And by the way, 62 degrees or this value is actually going to be over a bit, right? So we want the actual point on the, we want to estimate the point on the red curve, but we're going to use the black line. We can even do that in, uh, we'll do that in maroon. So we're going to use the maroon point to estimate the blue point, which is the actual output. All right. So, but as the base or basis that we're going to go off of, we need the slope at pi over three, which is a 60 degree angle. And the sine is root three over two, which you see in the unit circle, root three over two, but we've got the minus sign. And that makes sense because the line is decreasing. So the slope of, of that red line is minus root three over two. So it's confirmation that we're on the right track. So the linearization, 
is going to take the slope and um, it's point slope form. So it's x minus, now we're going to use that point, which is um, pi over 3. And then we need plus f of pi over 3. Now, so somewhere off to the side, we need to do this. And looking at the picture, we have square root of one over two, which is uh, really just a half. I'm not sure why they leave it in that form. That's okay. Uh, so I can replace this with one half. All right, so uh, our function then is minus root three over two. And I think I'm just gonna leave this. I, I could simplify it and distribute, but I think we're gonna just leave it this way. And uh, let's see if, Let's see once we compute this, if that's gonna work for us. Uh, so now, I don't know if I'll have enough space, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in the 62 pi over 180. So it's a minus root three over two times 62 pi or 180 minus, now if I multiply both by 60, I end up with 60 pi over 180 plus a half, which is equal to root three over two times, to pi over 180. Of course, the twos are gonna cancel. There's a half, and I am running out of space. Uh, but it's root three over 180. Don't forget the pi. That's on the outside of the square root plus a half which is zero point four seven zero if you round off. So this is the same approximated point four seven zero.